during your NFL career, I, I love talking about the, the adversity side of stories. My, I had a bunch of adversity in my career, and I kind of like diving into it. What was the one moment during your time in the NFL where it might have been the toughest or the darkest or the time where you were like, man, I got I to overcome this? And then what did, how did you overcome it? What was the, <clears throat> who were you talking to? What was the advice you were getting during yeah. that time? I think the toughest moment was 2015. Uh, where I didn't play a snap. Mm-hmm. Uh, right. I, yeah, I go into this. I go into yeah. the off season. Um, Jay Gruden's, yeah, hey, RG three's quarterback one, <laughs> right? I, that's probably a horrible Jay Gruden voice, but <laughs> he's he's quarterback one. And you know, I go into to OTAs. Uh, I go into training camp. I'm I'm having an amazing off season. We're doing great. Uh, you know the reviews out of camp are oh man RG three looks looks good mm-hmm. looks like he's ready to have a breakout year going to the preseason preseason game, who maybe two or three, I get a stinger in my in my shoulder from a hit starting left tackle and starting right tackle don't play in the game, I get hit it's not a huge deal it wasn't like a, a really bad stinger, mm-hmm. uh, but they throw me in the concussion protocol. And I'm like, okay, well, I need to play in this third game because my career here in Washington is on the line. Mm. I do everything I'm supposed to. I know I don't have a concussion. I pass all the concussion tests. I get cleared on a Friday night Mm. to go play in the preseason game on a Saturday. Wake up on Saturday and find out I've been uncleared. I'm like, okay, well, how am I uncleared? Well, they're saying the doctor that he made a mistake. I said, well let, me, well, let me talk to the doctor. It's like, oh, no, we, they fired him. <laughs> oh, the doctor got fired, and you uncleared me? So I don't play that preseason game. I get demoted the next day after the preseason game. Not for, I was quarterback one. I go from QB1 to QB3. Not QB2 to QB3. Mm-hmm. QB1 to QB3. They're not going to play me the whole year. Uh, come to find out the reason they did that was because I had my fifth year option and they didn't want anything to happen to where they owed me that money because at that time fifth year options weren't guaranteed yeah. it was just injury guaranteed so all this is going on nobody is really mm-hmm. tracking all this stuff but this is all going on I'm like now I find myself in the middle of the year uh, and this man put me on scout team at safety so I'm like, all right, listen, I turned down Texas a and I turned down Texas, I turned down all these schools in college to go play a different position. And now I'm in the NFL, former franchise player, <laughs> playing scout team safety. And, I, and it was that, there was that practice that happened. It didn't happen ever again after that mm-hmm. because the media caught a hold of it and mm-hmm. kind of put it out there. Yeah. Like, RG3's playing scout, scout, scout team <laughs> safety. I don't know who found out. I didn't yeah. tell anybody, but it happened. After that practice, I stayed after practice, which I did every day. I stayed after practice every day, and I would, because I would get no reps in practice, no scout team reps, no obviously, mm-hmm. you know, number one team reps, and I would go through the whole practice uh, by myself. Mm-hmm. Go through the whole practice, make all the throws, get one of the interns to come out there and throw with me. Uh, that practice, I went out there and I did that for forty-five minutes afterwards, and then I spent like ten or fifteen minutes just punting balls. Mm-hmm. I'm not a punter. You know that. Mm-hmm. Just punting balls. Just think, trying to get myself through this grind of like, why am I still doing this? Yeah. Am I still doing this because I love the game? Am I doing this because I don't want to be broken? And I made that decision on the field that day after that practice that no matter what, I'm going to make sure that I'm not the reason I'm not prepared. I'm going to make sure I'm not the reason that I fail I had already made that decision in my mind when I was six years old, Mm -hmm. right? But we all have these moments where we have to make a decision. Mm -hmm. And you can allow what you're going through to break you. You can allow what you're going through to break your spirit, to break how kind you are, to change your attitude towards life. Mm -hmm. And for me in that moment, I made the decision that I'm gonna just keep pressing forward. I'm gonna keep treating people well. I'm gonna keep working hard. I'm gonna keep doing what I have to do to be successful and not let anything that I ever go through break me. Mm-hmm. And that was the toughest moment there in 2015. And I did that. I was, no one, you'd heard anything about me in 2015. Mm-hmm. I was a great teammate to Kirk. We won the division that year. Uh, I cheered when we scored. I cheered when we won. I was there every step of the way for the team in the playoffs. And then when it was my time to leave, I left. Yeah. And I think for me, that was a big year. Uh, of just 
recollection on what I had been through and what I was going to do going forward. And I carried that with me for the rest of my time.